Yo guys, what's going on? I am George and this is You Wanna Watch. Welcome back to the shop and welcome back to another Sunday flea market haul. If you happen to be new here, I do a market haul each and every Sunday and on Wednesdays I do restorations of what I find. So, I say without any further ado guys, we jump right into it. Let's go. Alrighty guys, I am overly excited to show you guys what I got this weekend. Uh, we got some really good deals and I am stoked. So first, let me start off with this. I got two flats of sockets for both, I paid $6. We got some really good stuff in here. We got Fleet Proto, we got uh, Mac, we got uh, SK, Craftsman, there is some foreign stuff in here, not as much as I thought that there was going to be, but uh, we did really, really good. And for $6, I can't complain at all. Um, I think what's going on, the weather broke a little bit. It's not as hot, and people were out selling, trying to make up that lost money that they haven't been selling, you know? I mean, it, it's the only thing that I can think. So, six bucks for those is two flats fantastic deal here's another six dollars look at the hardware I got these are all bolts there is a bunch of washers here in the bottom but this flat here is completely full of nothing but washers I am blown away uh, you know crazy look at the size, size of that washer that thing's probably got to be quarter inch thick um, but yeah, I am completely blown away. Again, another $6, so it was $3 a flat. And this guy had, like, tonnage on his table. I didn't need nails or nothing like that. A lot of it was, you know, nails, staples, uh, stuff of that nature. I didn't grab any of that. I just grabbed the sockets and I grabbed this little bit of hardware here. But, you know what, 12 bucks, I got all this stuff right here. Man. Come on, that's awesome. Uh, $30, I got this little Littleston vise. This is a number 450. This is probably the biggest little Littleston I've ever seen. This thing's in really nice shape. It's got a five inch jaw. Look how tight those jaws are. I don't think this thing was ever used. There's no hammer dings on the top of it. There's no grinding marks, sawzall marks, anything. This thing is sweet. The anvil is perfect. There's no dings in it. Um, this thing's going to need a nice little tune-up done to it. I'm going to get all the rust off it, keep all the original paint as possible, um, get the handle all wire wheeled down, cleaned up, the slide, get this thing all cleaned up, the excess overspray paint that they do at the factory, get that off there. Um, and I'm going to wind up selling this for probably 60 bucks. I'll double my money on this one. So that's pretty cool. Quite happy to have it. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I got another vice. Go figure. Uh, and the only reason why I picked this up is because people keep asking me about it. Uh, this is a Dunlop 5244. I don't understand what the appeal is with these, but uh, I've had several messages asking me if I had any. They want to buy it, and uh, well, I haven't had any. So I saw one today, I picked it up, I paid 15 bucks for it. Uh, I know I can double my money, I'll ask 30 once I get it all restored and cleaned up. And uh, you know, I probably won't make a video on this, I've already done a Dunlop. And uh, if you guys haven't seen it, you can go in my uh, library on my page and uh, check out the Dunlop Vice restoration. But um, yeah, for some reason, people want these. I don't understand the appeal. Maybe because it's a smaller vice. But anyway, I picked that up. Uh, next, stop by a couple of yard sales. We got some pretty good stuff. This is a quarter inch set right here, but uh, I probably should have left it. Oops. Everything in here is rusted completely up. 
The only thing that isn't completely wasted is the ratchet. Um, the back of it's real bad. But uh, this thing's been sitting in a, a bucket of water for a very long time. So, yeah, for a dollar, I probably should have left it. But, hey, I'm a sucker for these little cases. Um, I will probably do a video on this. It won't be anytime soon because I just did a complete set uh, last week. So, yeah. It probably won't be any anytime soon, but I, eventually I will get to it. Uh, this set, another set. Uh, this is Armstrong. Quite happy to have that. It's a complete set and it's in really, really good shape. Uh, the box is kind of bad, I'll say. I mean, it's not rusted through, but it's, it's pretty bad. I think I'm gonna grab my cut brush, my wire cut brush and go over this, leave it all patinaed and I'll spray it with a clear lacquer to protect it. And uh, the label is flaking off, so I wanna try and preserve that as well. And I think, again, I'm gonna use the lacquer in there, spray that on there, and that will, you know, ensure that it stays for a couple of years longer. So, yep, that's that. 10 bucks, couldn't pass it up, you know. Uh, found two cool things. Mr. Magdad would be happy about this. I found one of those uh, bullet pencils that he collects. This one's got an eraser on the end. It's got the pencil still in it. I paid a buck for this. Not bad. Not bad at all. I was quite happy to find that. And I found a four inch Proto Los Angeles adjustable wrench. I paid a buck for that too. So that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, next, I got a no-namer gasket scraper. Some bonehead drilled a hole through it. I wish they wouldn't have, but hey, whatever. I was looking in my toolbox for a gas, gasket scraper and I remembered I took mine to work. So I no longer have a gasket scraper in my tools here. So. Picked one of those up. Pretty cool. J.H. Uh, Williams, alligator wrench. This is, uh, I believe it says two and a half bulldog. Uh, BWB two and a half bulldog. J.H. Williams. It's in relatively good shape and I paid five bucks for this. Kind of overpaid, but you know what? I like them, so I'm happy with it. Uh, next, a dollar. I got two Craftsman socket rails. These are a lot more substantial than those Pittsburghs that I bought. What was that, a week, two weeks ago? Uh, these are quarter inch. And like I said a couple of weeks ago, we all need more organization in our lives. So this is gonna help me out. And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy to have that. Uh, next, I got a couple of cool diamond tools. Another F wrench. Uh, whenever I see anything diamond, I always try and pick it up. It's kind of hard to find in my area, so when I do find it, yep, I scoop it up. I already have this one, but that's all right. Uh, these, though, on the other hand, this is a Diamond Duluth USA N18, like Nathan and N18. Look at the jaws on there. They're like split ring pliers. I thought that was pretty cool. Never seen these before, and I surely do not have these in my collection, but I do now. These are gonna get the full service work over, and uh, they're gonna go on the wall of love with the rest of the diamond tools, so that is quite cool. The wrench that I dropped, this is a Proto Los Angeles, 12 inch. This thing's in really good shape. Quite happy to have this. Thing moves like butter. Like butter. That's awesome. Uh, next, I got a Spud style Crescent wrench, and it's Crescent brand Crescent wrench. I think I paid two or three bucks for this. 
but I'll pick that up. I got a six inch Westcott, which I'm quite proud of. I didn't have this one. I do now, and that's going to get cleaned up, the full service resto, and put on my wall as well. So that's pretty cool. The piece de resistance, though, here, um, I'm going to have to say, is uh, this wrench. I am blown away that I found it. And uh, this is a HD Smith perfect handle wrench. She closes perfect. There's no mushrooming. Slight usage of the hammer back here. As a hammer, I should say, back there. But hopefully that name will show up so you guys can see it. Hopefully that's showing up. But, um, yeah. This thing's in such good shape. The handles aren't loose. They're not rattly. Nothing. Uh, this is going to get a quick coat of oil and thrown in my own personal collection and I'm honored to own this. This is this is something right here. Quite cool. Uh, I got a freebie. This is a 70s, 80s Pepsi bottle. I was telling the lady who was selling a bunch of stuff, you know, grew up with this and stuff like that, you know, seeing that logo. And uh, she was like, here, just take it. I was like, really? She's like, yeah, how about it? So, that's quite cool. Don't find these too often. They're not worth anything, but, you know, it's like a nostalgia type thing. Uh, last but not least, I'm going to move you guys around a little bit. Please be patient. There we go. Um, I got two side tables, and uh, I paid $5 for both of them. They're in pretty bad condition. I'm not going to bullshit you. Uh, there's paint spilled all over this one. This one, it looks like it was sitting in the sun or had direct sunlight on it for years. The varnish is all off it. But I know that I can totally save these, and these things are worth a small fortune. So these are Lane. I believe it's the Heritage line. And uh, I know I can get, once they're all finished out, 500 bucks for them. Uh, they're mid-century modern. It's real hot right now. And uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased to have uh, picked those up, especially for five bucks. So that's a super huge bonus and that cash is gonna help out in the shop a lot. Alrighty guys, well we are all done with this one. What do you think? Not bad, right? Finally the weather broke and people were out selling. Oh, it totally shows, you know? All this, just this weekend, I'm blown away. Don't forget to put in the comment section what you think your favorite find of today was. Me, for my own personal collection, would have to be the HD Smith. Uh, I'm stoked to have this. But the big money maker for the week is definitely the side tables. Those lane side tables are going to bring in some serious cash. So, hope you guys liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. Like always, stay safe, be safe. We'll see you next week with another. Bye.